Hi guys, we are at page 402 of the Trail Guide to the Body, okay? So we are going to be featuring the lateral collateral ligaments of the ankle and how to palpate or um, to touch, okay? Again, these are really, uh, the spring ligaments or the deltoid, they are very sensitive um, because the, the medial side is more so very, very sensitive to touch, even if in your the thigh, the inner area, um, inner uh, thigh, again, is very sensitive same manner as the middle but the lateral can still be sensitive okay so we have to make sure that we are really really um careful and be aware of the sensitivity of these ligaments okay so and to understand why the ankle is the most frequently injured articulation in the body you might begin with the ankle's lateral collateral ligaments um Again, designed to establish the distal end of the fibula to the calcaneus and talus, these three bands are the most often torn ligaments, right? The AT ATFL, right? It, it, that uh, appeared in my uh, board exams, actually, right? Uh, it, it is the most, um, you know, ligament, torn ligaments, because ankle is the most sprained um, of all joints, right? So, uh, anyway, so they, on the ankle's medial side, are our most, and are most vulnerable when the foot is inverted and plantar flex. So the anterior talofibrillar ligament uh, spans from the anterior surface of the lateral malleolus to the lateral side of the talus neck. So when the foot is weight-bearing and excessively inverted, this ligament is often the first to be torn. Okay, so that's so the A ATFL. Okay, so this is really important um, um, info, guys. Okay, so the posterior talofibrillar ligament is much stronger than its anterior counterpart and only damage in the most severe of ankle injuries, such as dislocations. So it attaches to the posterior side of the lateral malleolus and the talus lateral tubercle. So between these two ligaments is the calcaneofibrillar ligament. Okay, so it spans from the Lateral malleolus down to the lateral surface of the calcaneus, so deep to the perineal tendons only during severe ankle sprains. After the anterior talofibrillar has ripped, will this ligament be torn as well? Okay, so um, looking at the image here, we have the lateral malleolus. This is 7.144 lateral view of the right ankle. The therapist is palpating the anterior um, talofibrillar ligament or the ATFL. Okay. Okay, so um, uh, please look at the image 7.145 and also 7.146 after uh, because I'm going to be featuring the posterior tal talofibril and also the calcaneofibrillar um, with, the, with the, the same info. Okay, so a partner uh, being a supiner seated, so we're going to try to um, um, locate the anterior uh, talo fibular or ATFL, this ligament is not very distinctu distingu distinguishable, distinguishable, there you go, I got it, oh my god, my apologies guys, but its position can be isolated by first locating the anterior aspect of the lateral malleolus, okay, you can slide your thumb toward the head of the talus, roughly an inch, so the ligament passes just medial to the extensor digitorum brevis belly, okay, and for the posterior talofibrillar, set your finger on the posterior side. Okay, your finger is on the posterior side of the lateral malleolus. Yes, it is, right? And continue around the malleolus to the surface of the talus lateral tubercle. If you reach the calcaneal tendon, you have gone too far. Okay? Um, put the answers there. So between these landmarks will be the ligament. Also use gentle pressure here since this region can often be tender. Okay, so I'm um, looking at the calcaneofibrillar um, ligament here. The therapist is trying to locate the distal end of the lateral malleolus and the lateral aspect uh, of the calcaneus. Okay, so this ligament runs at a slight oblique angle and passes posterior to the peroneal tubercle. Okay, so I'll see you guys on page 403.